ever wanted to make your own computer game, now you can bring your ideas to life with Game Builder Garage from Nintendo Switch. Today we'll, we will shortcast how easy it was to learn basics of programming in a fun and interactive way and to create our own games. Game Builder Garage is a place where you create your own games with your own rules. We learned the basics of programming in a fun and interactive way, then created games and then shared them with the world. There are two parts of the game, interactive learning and free programming. Free programming is for creating games. But if you do not know how to create game yet, that's not a big deal. You just take interactive learning course that includes seven lessons, each taking between 40 and 90 minutes. Each lesson is basically a different type of game that you need to learn to program. Alex, tell us about each of them. In the first lesson you create Tag Showdown, a game where you have two characters and you play tag. Yeah. You need to avoid the obstacles which are rolling balls. In the second game, on a roll, you tilt your Nintendo Switch to make the ball roll and you need to collect the apples. Avoid just like that, yeah. Yeah. In the third game, Alien Blaster, you need to blast all the aliens and get to the boss alien to make and make sure you blast all the aliens to get a perfect score. In Risky Run, you have to avoid all the obstacles. That these include seesaws, bosses with who shoot, and loads more others. Then we have Mystery Room. You need to solve a mystery to get out of this room. What treasure will you find behind the hidden door? After that we have Thrill Racer, where you need to learn to create a car which drives by itself. You also need to drive a car yourself and it is a race between you two. In the final game, you are a person and you have to go all over obstacles in 3D mode. You can change the direction from where the camera is, but be careful, don't fall off the platforms. There are some aliens, some bars, and a hidden bridge. We were building pre-planned games from scratch with the help of on-screen helper named Bob. Bob was teaching us and leading us through all these steps. While we were learning, there was no way for us to click or do anything wrong as only the right choices were active, making learning easy uh, even for inexperienced programmers. To build the game we used nodons. There are more than 80, each with its own unique function. Each has a unique personality that makes the learning more entertaining. By just connecting different nodons we can make a character jump when we press the button, set the background or adjust the gravity. There is no done for that too. After completing each lesson, we had a checkpoint that had some puzzles for us to solve to fix a game using skills we learned from the completed lesson. After all the fun learning, we started creating our own unique games in the free programming mode. Then we shared them with friends online so others could play too. So Alex, show us and describe us the first game we've done together. At the beginning there is a special hoop that falls. This is going to be the portal to, to start the game. And now at the beginning of the game you have loads of things to smash. We were just exploring all the opportunities that platform was offering and we created this green field uh, when the main characters can go around, smash things and look for some apples. It was great to create multi-user games that we could play together. No, no, ah! Yes! <laughs> uh. To summarize, Game Builder Garage 
teaches the core concept of video game programming in a fun and approachable way. No prior experience is required, so kids, parents and anyone in between can have fun learning to create and share their own games. Game Builder Garage will definitely inspire the next generation of game developers.